Now let's modify our elevation tag. The process is the same. Uh, there are two ways. First way create our new family annotation generic annotation and delete node say that uh, this is a level head and uh, for example draw something uh, for example line like here, like here like here for example something like this uh, if you want to you can use field region so for example I want to paint this region with black here it is field region black solid fill all right oh and uh, also in the sketch I need to say that my uh, boundary lines will be invisible lines all right and for example place a label on the top for example its elevation and uh, modify say in Russia we use meters and uh, three decimal places symbol none and uh, plus for positive values for example plus 22 and something like this and uh, under it a name and name will align to left elevation to left then I move it like this and say my label for name will be very very small just one millimeter italic and uh, let's save it save as family uh, label label or label tag label head and for example I want to say that my name will be invisible in some types I said parameter and uh, <coughs> show level name good and uh, in types I create new type no name turn off and with name turn on oh, turn on ok save and load into my project go to an elevation pick level and say duplicate custom with name and duplicate custom with out name and for without name for symbol I pick no name check with name 
I have a label with name. And for level 1, the same with name, for example. And now I can see small name and it's high. And if I want to, I can pick all levels and say, for example, without name. And the same way you can watch which type use your default type uh, 8 millimeter head it's a M level head circle go to annotation symbols M level head circle say edit and for example Uh, I need to turn on my annotation reference planes and for example um, move it here or I can delete this field regions all right. All right. And now if I'll use my default level text, uh, they are updated.